Hello and welcome guys. This video is about basic fundamentals of Vue.js. I found this framework fascinating because I bumped into it in some articles and some developers, uh, front-end developers to be exact, that this one is on par with Angular and React. So I'm trying to look into it. Um, a quick introduction about uh, Vue.js is it is a progressive JavaScript framework that is used to build user interfaces of modern applications without using a lot of resources. It is a lot like similar from React. Um, they share many similarities such as they both utilizes a virtual DOM. Uh, they provide composable and reusable components and also they maintain focus in the core library with concerns such as routing and state management, Redux and React hooks for React and UX for Vue. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, the prerequisites before going to coding is VS Code and a live server. A live server is a VS Code extension wherein it reloads index.html files or static HTML, I mean static pages. So whenever you change any piece of your HTML file, it, rep it refreshes the web page. So start uh, right now, I'm going to use Vue.js CDN so we can try it instantly without installing some dependencies or rather stuff like Node.js. So yeah, first we need to create an index.html file. Uh, the basic tags and ready. and then we I'm gonna use the Vue.js CDN. Yes, again. This one. So paste it here. So first, the Vue.js instance. Uh, every view application starts by creating a new Vue.js instance, like this one. We can actually pass uh, options here in the view function, and the most important part is the L which stands for element and uh, this L is where all the rendering will occur. So we need to create a div with an ID of root, same as this one. And we need to access it by ID, so we need to use hashtag. So let's try it first, hello VJS. And we need to open it with live server. This is only available if you have live server installed, so yeah. It will redirect us to a, a page wherein it uh, provides us with a specific port. So yeah, whenever you change this, you, need, you don't need to refresh the page. And then the template syntax for uh, Vue.js is two curly braces. And you, we can access a variable here using the data option. So if we are going to add a name here Vue.js remove this one we expect to see a hello Vue.js in the page so yeah and then data binding for Vue.js is you need to add this attribute we bind that attribute to the attribute of the tag let's say href google.com and then Let's say redirect to Google. Okay, it gives us an empty page. Let's try to look what causes there. Are. So yeah, we need to add a link on the data. Link. You can name this anyone, anything. So I'm just naming it, naming naming it link. So yeah. Okay, it's not working because it doesn't have an HTTPS here. HTTPS is um, to for the Vue.js to know that this is a link. So yeah, it successfully redirects, but it doesn't redirect to the next page. So let's uh, add a target here and a blank. So it will work fine now. So yeah. And then we can also toggle show hide elements here using the data. So we need a Boolean attribute. So I'm gonna name it show and then false. And 
we need to use the B show keyword. So yeah. Tago. It will not show because the uh, the the value is false. But if we negate it, uh, it will show. Uh, pretty basic, really. So yeah. And then I'm gonna talk about the rendering now. Um, the rendering is pretty basic mapping of array using the B4 keyword. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna delete this one now because we doesn't need that, and this one also. And I'm gonna create a script source so that there will uh, I'm I mean I can use the prettier formatter because script is not being formatted here in the HTML. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm wrong there. So I'm I'm just gonna separate this one script source, and then. I have some sample JSON data here. Okay, where is it? Sample JSON. I'm just gonna copy this one. And then paste it here. What do you call this one? Films. So I'm gonna call it films. So that's our data. Just collapse it. So, you don't have to drag it. So, first, I need an H1. H1, list of films. And then, I need a table so that the rendering will occur here. Um, I don't exactly know what is the properties here. So, I'm gonna... Use the title, the year, the genre, and the director. Title, year, genre, director. Title, year, genre, director. And director. We can add the other two, but we can, we can add the other properties too, but I'm gonna use this for only. And then to render the data, we need the B4 keyword. B4 and then uh, film of films. It's the co coding convention that you use this as a singular form and the array as a plural, plural, plural form. <laughs> and the template syntax for review is just like this one and then we can render it just like this now. Just plot the... Okay. Here, general, and then the director. Um, it's getting rendered now. However, it doesn't look that good. So I'm gonna use Bootstrap. Bootstrap CDN also. So yeah. Copy this one and link it. Link to L statue. It will. And we're gonna need also the JavaScript here. Okay, we need jQuery too. So I'm gonna copy the jQuery CDN too. It, I think the bootstrap JS it's optional. I just want to get rid of this error. So I'm gonna use the modified version. Copy this one. And then uh, script source here. Above the bootstrap. Oops. So yeah. It's working. Uh, it's looking good now. Just... I just need to pass in some additional class container and then this one is table 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 responsive yeah looks good now
Um, the next thing I want to show is the methods. So methods are created on this instance too. We need to pass an option of a method here. So how um, uh, methods are generally functions that we will trigger via user interaction such as hover, click, double click, um, etc. Or even just on web page load. It, it's also an event. So, how can we create a method? We need to add an action here on the data. Action. Actions are primarily buttons. Um, I'm going to create a button with the class of danger. So, this one is delete. So, how are we going to delete this one? We need to create a method for that. So, um, we need to fa pass a an attribute called b on click, and then a function delete row. So, we need to create this delete row function here. Let's console it if it's working. Delete. Okay. So it's working. So here we need to. I just duck this one to bottom. Here we need to pass the index so that we're, we we know what we're going to delete. So we need to pass it. Okay how to pass how to get index in before i'm not sure about the syntax so i'm going to okay we just have to do it like this the second parameter is index so pass the index in the delete row the function will receive one parameter an index so let's console it And yeah, we're getting the index now. So what we're what we're going to do is to splice it, the array. So films that splice index, and we need to pass one. So that's the position. So yeah. So now we we are deleting the rows. So let's use the toggle now. Um, here we show. So we need to show it if the artist, I, I mean the films, are not empty. So we can use the films length. It will all only show if the films are not empty and then create a warning here h3, h3. and then we show films that length and just negate it because um it, it's the same as the uh, it's the same as uh true ah false i mean oh yeah let's try Oops, what happened? Ah, we, we don't pass in some warning here. No films. Just like that. No films found. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, And yeah, no films found. And then, what if we are going to add some films? So, I'm gonna modify this thing. I'm gonna split them into two. So div class row, div class call sm6, and another column of six call sm6. And this is where the form will occur. 
Okay. So, when we just gonna copy the form of Bootstrap. Okay. Let's try this one. Wait. Okay. I just need the the text. So, I'm gonna delete this one. Text. Delete this one. And we're good to go. Um, What I need is title here, genre and director. So, let's change this one. Title. And then, copy. Title here. Um, what, what else? Genre and director. So yeah. I don't think I need this one. So I'm gonna delete this, the label. Since there is a placeholder. Okay, let's delete the data title. Okay. As you can see, when I'm clicking submit, it reloads the page. So, I need to create a function here wherein it prevents default. So, yeah. Um, where's the submit button? Okay. And then, we had some on clicks. By the way, we can shortcut this as at it, it's the same as the V on, but it's pretty readable for me. So, submit form. And then we have to create a submit form method. Also, submit form function. Comma. The reason why, I, what, why I'm not using ES6 here is that... We, is because the this keyword is not accessible. Let's try. Okay, let's prevent default first so that we can prevent the website from loading. We need to pass an event here and an event here also. Let's try to name it E. E that prevent default. Okay. So it's not uh, it's not reloading now. So as you can see, the this keyword is the this itself, the window. That's not what we want. We need to access this this data. So we need to convert it into uh, not into an ES6 function. So like that. Um, yeah. uh, see the difference uh, it's not the window now so yeah and then we need something that will hold the data so we need to create a uh, data now let's name it ah, this json file is pretty long so I'm gonna collapse it I mean, I'm gonna delete some of it. Yeah. Then, we pass in some form here. And then, bind the inputs into the form. So, to do that, we need to, we need this B model. And then, the form. Let's say, form title. Form that year form that genre and form that director so yeah let's try to see if we are getting the 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 same i mean if it's control the plug let's let's try to console if the form is being mutated So yeah, as you can see here, 
it's being passed in to the form object. So now, um, what we're gonna, gonna do is just push it. Push it to the films data. Ah, I mean variable films that push this dot form. Try to delete these things and then let's say inception 2010 genre um sci-fi director christopher nolan oops it's not being passed so let's try to console it ah i see um it's it's an the first character is uppercase and then we set it to lowercase so we need to modify this so yeah i think this one will work as expected now yeah delete this one first okay um titanic 1997 genre fiction and James Cameron submit ah, it's working now and then what if we want to um, edit some data so we need to create another action here on the this one so yeah button class warning and this one will have a separate function edit row and this one's edit so yeah edit row is not defined so we're gonna create a method for that one edit row function function takes an argument a uh, parameter a parameter with an an index so yeah so what are we going to do here is that we are going to fill up the form with the row data so i think we need to pass in the film too this is that and then this one will take a parameter to film so let's console the film as well as the index edit zero okay we're getting it so yeah all we need to do is to pass in the data to the form. Yeah. So it, it automatically populates this input forms. Um, okay, this delete is working. So now we need to set an editing index because we are using this submit form too while editing so let's try to create an editing index uh, zero and then set this that editing index set to this index and then we need to create a variable wherein it says that we are editing the form so let's say is editing is editing then set it to false so yeah so if we click this edit row we need to toggle the is editing into true so why because i'm gonna change this submit button into finish editing so let's try it submit Let's try to toggle this submit using the visual that I showed earlier. So if it's editing, we're showing the finish editing button. And if it's not, then we will show that we are just adding. And let's change this. Okay. So yeah, it's it's changing now. 
there is a better way to do this but I'm just showing you how we can just uh, toggle the the labels here but it's yeah <laughs> you get the idea so it's being mutated now but what if the user wants to cancel the editing so we're gonna look into it um, we're gonna create a division here division because we have two buttons now one is for finishing editing and one is for cancelling button um, I just copy this one change the class to danger and then close the tag with a cancel editing cancel editing too we doesn't need this event and we need this function so we create a function here so what's going to what's going next finish editing okay okay the reason why i created this one the finish editing is that the submit form just you know it just adds a another row which is not what we want um so we're gonna use this function we, we need to modify this so that's why we created this uh, variables so let's say if it is editing okay else just push it and then I think we need the index here so that's the index and then we just need to modify now this that fails uh, this that editing index is equal to this that form and then we need to clear the form after after triggering it so let's try we, we need to toggle also the editing to false so this that edit this editing is set to false so yeah let's try it let's try to delete it first so we can see if it's uh, going down so yeah let's edit vikings finish editing is editing is not defined is editing is not defined where is it um is editing is editing is not defined ah here we need to access it like this delete and edit vikings finish editing and yeah we edited edited it and how why how about we cancel that um before doing the cancel uh i want to introduce the usage of components so to create a component we need to use the view keyword and then component and you need to name it app so the example that i'm gonna give is let's say we we create a card the card uh, the view component takes in a second parameter of options a template and this one accepts a string of uh, html stringified html content so let's say we create a div um, let's style it for inline for now so let's say div style of a border 1px solid black and then the height of 200px let's say 125 and the width of 200px and the padding of 20px so let's say 
content ah uh, Lorem Ipsum here Lorem Ipsum we can use the app card now as a, an HTML tag so where are, where we are gonna put it uh, let's just put it uh, below this one this table so below this table we use the app card so yeah as you can see there is an a card now but if you render it like this it will give us the same output so that's the use of component so what if we uh, pass in some properties on the component so let's i mean let's comment this out for now so we can see things clearly um add some margin bottom here margin bottom 10px so if we are going to render to there it will have some spacing so yeah um we can also render we can also render uh data here in the app card using the b4 so let's say we are rendering the films so yeah let's use the films uh error compiling b4 films film of films okay so we're, we're rendering it now and pass in some property let's say details we're gonna use the film and then like this one um i'm not sure about the films but i'm gonna try to access it as an object uh, form the title film the title let's say title film the title okay uh, we need to use this colon so that the view will interpret it that this one is a dynamic data so something like that because it will just uh, give us a string if we if we are not using the colon so yeah that's basically how to create a component in um, view uh, let's try to reduce these films because it's too many so yeah if we are going to add another film here let's say um Django Unchained release 2012 genre um let's say gore and then director Quentin Tarantino and submit it it will just work just as fine so yeah that's basically the components in view um that's basically the scope of the basic fundamentals of Vue.js um thanks for watching